Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mama and Kechi here. <laughs> this one I call myself Mama and Kechi. Anybody that is actually Mama and Kechi, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to yab you or anything though. But I just feel like when anytime I wear this scarf, I look like a mama. <laughs> hi guys how are you all doing welcome back to my channel so this is another vlog actually i've been taking care of everybody for the past one or two weeks or three weeks or in fact past one year past five years <laughs> i've been taking care this uh, 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 aeroplane come and go now eh? i'm gonna buy camera and, and vlog your own anyway i feel like i'm taking care of everybody and not taking care of myself so i need to take you know some steps back and go and take care of myself so right now i'm going out now i want to go and retouch my hair um i'll retouch my hair then tomorrow i'm going for a massage and i'm going for a pedicure manicure what all those things hair. i want to go and do them like i really need a massage and i really need to take care of myself and rest okay so this is like a self-care vlog partially because my mom is around and i'm going with my mom then when we come back we're going to cook soup i want to cook or have soup and i want to cook Onubu soup, which is bitter leaf soup. I'm not sure I'm going to cook the Onubu soup, but I'm sure I'm going to cook Oha soup. Anyway, any which one, let's just be going, okay? Um, yeah, so we're going to the we're going to the salon together. We're going to do our hair, both of us, and then go to the markets and for markets, come back, cook. And then after cooking tomorrow, I'll now go and do the proper pamper day. Like tomorrow is a real pamper day for me. I and my mom are going to film tomorrow morning. We're going to film um, a QA. Let me even go and put that on Instagram now so we can film it tomorrow. So I'm going to film a Q and A about you know special needs, you know, raising a special needs child in Nigeria, raising a special needs child in Nigeria. I'm going to put a QA about that. So tomorrow morning we'll film the video. After filming the video, then we're off for our massage and other things, okay? But yeah. That's enough with the intro, so let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey guys, so right now I'm at the market. I ran away from the salon because they burnt my hair. Yeah, they burnt my hair. Like my skin here was burnt. So after they washed my hair, I just told them I'm done. Like I didn't even comb this hair. The hair was not combed, nothing, nothing. I just came out and said, I can't deal. So I came to the market. From here, I'll go home and go and apply aloe vera gel. I forgot to go with my aloe vera gel. That's why I just didn't want to wait again. So I'll go home and apply aloe vera gel and comb the hair myself. But I was really pissed because, I mean, why? My hair burns because of negligence and I don't know. She, was, she wasn't a professional. She would rub, She put so much relaxer in the front part and on my bare skin for no reason. Anyway, it's what you see in Nigeria. If it's burning, you can't do your hair yourself. <laughs> But anyway, right now I'm in the market. I'm with my mom. Let me show you guys my mom. Okay. Can you guys see her? She's buying meat there. Yeah, so you guys, eh, my mom is so funny. Okay, so when we got to the market, um, I parked at... This is our market. is my drive through market. I call it drive through market because I can stay in my car and buy everything I need. Not even I can. I always stay in my car and buy everything that I need. I hardly come down. Like, I, I, I can't remember the time I came down in this market. Anyway, so when I stopped at where they sell um vegetables my mom was like i'm not coming down i said no i'll just tell them what i wanted they'll bring it to the car she was like okay but i could tell that she was uneasy like she was like what what is all this <laughs> she was like would they cheat me would they this wouldn't i'm just like seeing whether you go you come down or you enter your car they're still gonna cheat you so i'm so just enjoy my ac while they cheat me because either ways they will still cheat me she was like okay oh then she now said no that she wants to come down and buy this herself <laughs> i was like okay no wahala I'll get to each shop I get to because she wants to just come up from my car and walk around the market. I said no. Each um, stall I get to, then she can now come down and go and buy. It. Okay, so I parked beside the meat place. So she just came down from the car and went to buy the meat. So she will enter back into the car, then we'll drive to tomato place, drive to other you know other things just so that the stress is less. But left for her, she will walk around this market. She does not care. She was like, eh? So you stay in the car and be pricing meat, pricing. You, don't, you won't see what they're giving you. I'm like, I say, I can't be bothered. I, I, this life, I can't keep myself. <laughs> That's the reason why we work hard, okay? I work hard to afford the luxury of sitting in my car and just collect whatever they give me, okay? Because to me, it's a luxury. You see that walking up and down, pricing, you price it, price it, price it. Now, I now understand why it seems so annoying, man, because I'm not like that. Like, it now annoys me when you come down for market, you price here, price here, price here. They tell you 5,000 here, tell you 5,2 here, tell you 5,1 here, tell you 4,9 here. You'll be looking for where it's for it. Meanwhile, time is going, sweat, energy, everything. Anyway, she's back. Let me collect the things from her. I thought she was even done, Seth. She saw plantain now. She wants to buy. She said we should buy big, um, like, 
a a bunch of plantain me i usually just buy the ones that tie 500 1000 but she wants to buy a bunch and things are so expensive in the market now where eh? like things are really expensive but for me i just i just tell myself that it's to work harder make more money okay because things will always get expensive since i was born i've never seen things become cheaper in nigeria things have never been cheap things have never been better in the country things always get worse each year so just make more money okay make as much money as possible so that you won't feel it some people don't feel it okay <music> Guys, we just finished filming the Q and A with Mom C. Say hi to my beautiful mama. Hi. She's about to snap picture. <laughs> we're about to snap her picture. So right now we're going to uh, we're going for massage. We're going to Dream Day Spa. We're going to get massage and pedicure done. 
So I'm going to carry you guys along so that you guys will see what we are up to. See Sophia. You guys should say hi. 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 Say hi. Sophia, <laughs> <laughs> say hi. Hey guys, so we're back now. We are done with the massage and I feel so good. I feel so relaxed. I feel so happy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so right now, uh oh, my baby's crying now. <sighs> back to motherhood. <laughs> right now, I just go back home. I want to go and have my bath because the massage oil is all over my body, even though they, you know, they cleaned it off. But I want to go and have my bath now and just get ready, have dinner and go and sleep. Okay. That's wishful thinking because reality is that i'm going to carry that baby now i'm going to breastfeed her but i can't have my part first anyway um i feel good <laughs> so yeah that's how my evening is going to go let me go and eat my food and carry my child and then have my bath and go and watch bb and small and then sleep okay so i'll see you guys later <laughs> Time takes a toll on everyone, they say Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change Time, I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say Oh, time, just give us time Time, looking back on pictures And I find it hard to see You and myself in places Where we used to be Oh, time, we got older, babe And I wanna stay with you Don't get time for games Now what you wanna do? 